Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to the intro to personify overview video. Now, the purpose of this video is to give you guys a broad look at how personify works and how you can use it for your next build. Now, as you can see here on the page in front of me, personify is beautifully designed templates that are professionally built and highly scalable for sites, coaches, consultants, and personal brands. So as you'll see, there are four different personify templates, each with their own personas. We have the magnate, the mogul, the mover and the muse. Now, the best part is because these are built in Cornerstone, these can be customized to fit your needs and your brand. So let's take a look at how these work. We are going to use the mogul here. So let's go ahead and log in. So here we are logged into our WordPress site where we have the mogul personify template installed. The first thing you'll notice is if I open up my Cornerstone document tab here, this isn't just a single page template. This is a full site with about pages, book pages, connect pages, consult pages, media resources, speaking, et cetera, et cetera. But before we dive into all of that, let's take a look at how you get started. Once you have a Personify template installed, the first thing that I would do is jump over to your globals tab here, go into your fonts and begin customizing this to fit your brand. Now you could use the fonts out of the box just like things are set up, but if you already have your own brand fonts or colors, those can be changed from one global place. And the nice thing is because this entire template is built leveraging these globals, all you have to do is make one simple change. For example, I can come into our display here, which is this Barlow condensed, and I could change this to something like Georgia is going to refresh the page and is going to update throughout the entire site. Now, tweaks to some sizing may need to be made based on the different fonts that you choose, but you'll notice just like that, everything is already set up and now using our new font. But let's go ahead and set this back to Barlow condensed and a quick refresh of the page. Everything is back to normal. Now, similarly, we can jump over to our colors and you'll notice we have a default color scheme set up for mogul. But if you have different colors that are very specific to your brand, you can change those here. For example, you'll notice that the accent color is used pretty much throughout this entire template. So what we're going to do is jump into the accent global color here and make this something that's more fitting to us. Let's say it's some sort of green like this here. Now, you'll notice it only looks like the change happened in one place. But as soon as we save this and give it a full refresh, fresh, you'll notice this reflected throughout the site with one simple change to our accent color. We have now customized this to fit our brand. But let's go ahead and revert this back to that default red and we'll continue building from there. Now that we've taken care of our globals and we've set up our font and we've set up our primary brand colors, we can begin editing the pages. And in this case, I am on the home page and the home page is already composed for us to get started. Now, each of these are built out in very specific sections. So if you decide a section isn't right for you, like you don't need these success stories here, you simply click on that section and you can remove it from your page. So everything again is fully customizable and fully rearrangeable. So if you need to move a section around, we could simply grab this accent block section and drag this up right under our intro. And now it is in a new spot. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, everything has been custom built from the ground up to work seamlessly with these designs. So what does that mean? Well, nearly every one of these sections leverages custom components. And you'll see is things like this logo section here. If I click on that is custom built to be a logo section. If I scroll down and I click on our personify accent block here, you'll notice that this is a custom component that has specifically been set up for this design. And if I needed to swap this design, it's as simple as jumping into to our side parameter here, clicking left, and everything will swap for us and scale appropriately. But how do you make changes to these components if you need to change what's going on under the hood? Well, we can simply come into our documents library here. We can scroll down to our components. Now, all of these components are built using atomic design. So at their very core, you'll notice we have atoms. These are the finest details of the various components. Then we have composed components. So these are made up of various atoms, but are more complete components. And then we also have our scaffolding and these are things like sections. Then you'll also notice some other components in here as well, but these are the three primary ones that we're going to look at. So if we jump into our components and we start with atoms here, what you'll notice here is that we basically have a full library of global styles for the various atoms on our site. So these are things like our hero heading and what a hero heading looks like and how it should function. And also those custom parameters in the inspector here as well. So we have our hero heading, we have our standard heading, we have our 
labels, we have our content, we have global list items, and so on and so forth. So let's say we wanted to make a change to something. For example, we could jump into something like our global list design here, and we wanna make a change. Let's say we wanna add a little more space between the icon and the text here. We could jump into the icon figure div here, and we could add some right margin. Let's go with something extreme here, right? We'll go with like 5M, so there's a lot of space. Well, as soon as I save that, and I jump to a page that uses these global list designs, like our resources here, you'll notice that anywhere we have used that component, it is now reflected with that extra space in there. I could come back to Adams here, I could jump into that same figure div, and I could take this back down to one. And as soon as I save that atom, anywhere we are leveraging this global list component is going to reflect those changes again. So if I jump back over to resources here, you'll now notice that our bulleted list looks a lot better there. Now, in addition to atoms, which are the granular details of our design, we also have composed designs. So now here in our composed components, you'll find more completed design systems. These are things like our tiles and what those tiles might look like on the site, our features mini or our feature cards and what those look like on the site. Here we have our speaker gallery and what that looks like on the site. And for every one of these components, you're gonna notice that there are custom parameters set up and those are granular. So that means that you can actually customize those on a use by use basis or a case by case basis on each of the individual pages. But these are also global design systems. So let's say for example, that I decided that I no longer want a title on these speaker tiles. I can simply come in here, click on the tile, delete those tiles from our speakers list, click save. And as soon as I jump over to a page that leverages this, like our speaking page, Page, and I scroll down to the section that shows the speakers, you'll notice that their titles are now missing because that's a global change that we made. But a granular change, clicking on this here, I can actually change something like the border radius right here on the fly on this specific use case without having to have that ripple throughout the site. So you have some granular controls and then you have your global controls. And finally, we have our scaffolding components. And these components are more of our global containers. So our header, our section, and what those look like by default, and then accent sections and what those look like by default as well. And again, you can use these in their default state. They've been built beautifully for this, but if you desire and you want to, you can also go under the hood and begin making some of your own opinionated design changes as well. And to top things off, every one of these components has its own custom CSS associated with it. So if you really wanna nerd out and wanna see how things have been fully customized or want to begin customizing things even further yourself, dive into that component CSS where you'll be able to make those changes. I know this is like drinking from a fire hose, but hopefully this gives you a good overview of Personify and what you're gonna be able to do leveraging these templates as a baseline. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.